Beach in Baraboo, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be showing you my uh, Flagstaff Superlight fifth wheel camper. This particular one we're looking at is a 528 IKRL. Now, some of the main features that come standard with a Flagstaff are going to be all aluminum cage construction, four inch high density foam ceilings, fully enclosed underbelly with heated underbelly, heated three inch gate valve as well dual pane windows, Wi-Fi Ranger, um, what you're looking at here right now is a full pass-through storage, accessible from both sides and sleeps small children. As we back out here, we look at uh, dual awnings on this particular floor plan. Um, now, on this one, you don't have a designated outdoor kitchen, but what it does offer for outdoor entertainment space is a TV bracket here, the TV bracket that mounts inside in the bedroom will mount right here. Indoor outdoor stereo system, so you can play indoor outdoor and both, and or or. A gas cooktop will mount here next to the little table for your utensils and whatnot. All your hookups, uh, awning lights, LED awning lights next to an LED porch light. As now you look underneath the slide out, you will see the axles. Now those are torsion flex axles. Uh, not your typical leaf spring, which makes for a nicer, easier tow. TST, which is a tire monitoring system. That way, you know, when you lose air, too much air, have a bulge in the tire, took on a nail or something, prevent any future damage. We scoot on to the back here. They kind of pair nicely with that outdoor cook area. An outdoor faucet, hot and cold water blue coil hose comes out and then you're able to wash dishes, dogs, husbands and stuff like that. Underneath you have an electric stabilizer system. This one's just a push of a button. Elect it stabilizes itself once level. Is a order option to upgrade to a full 3.0 auto level system. On the back here we do have the roof ladder going up to the roof which comes standards in all Flagstaff models. Uh, you have a two inch receiver instead of bolting on, you know, spare tires, carriers, and stuff like that. They give you a welded to the frame two inch receiver, carrier kayaks, canoes, generator carriers, cooler carrier stuff like that. Now, this is a 50 amp unit, twist lock power cord system. This gives you this particular unit does have one air conditioner on board, but with the 50 amp system, gives you option for two. Fresh water dual pane windows like I said earlier on the top there this one came standard with all slide toppers you got three slide outs on this unit this one does come out I'll call covered with slide out toppers it's a 528 IKRL on the off door side there is a nice little storage compartment um, now standard on all flag staff trailers it is standard to have metal slam latches for a more sturdier latch. Dump station, 10 gallon gas electric water heater, outdoor lighting for, you know, working on stuff at night. It's the other side of the passenger storage there, showing this side again, because this here is where your water controls are. Easy valves for winterizing, dewinterizing, uh, using onboard water or city water. And again, there's that blue coil hose and on the off door side, there is a faucet as well. On this unit, you have 60 pounds of total onboard LP space. On each side of the unit, you will have a 30 pounder, so making a total of two. Good morning, Devin here back at Scenic RV in Baraboo, Wisconsin. A little warmer morning this morning, so we're back in the 528 IKRL. Um, the 28 foot rear opposing slide fifth wheel, half ton towable unit. Um, we hit a lot of the 2021 factors on the outside, so let's hit them on the inside. Um, as if you're familiar with Flagstaff and Rockwood, you'll see the color changes is big um, throughout the unit from your roller shades, furniture, countertops, and your kitchen appliances, different colors for the ceiling fans, accent wood, all that good stuff. Now, if we pan back to the back side, we'll work back to front on what's new. You have that trifold sleeper 
Uh, full size trifold sleeper, great spot for the guests, no uncomfortable bar on the back. Like we were talking about the roller shades, easy system, normal, no more pleated shades, no kids ripping them, breaking the springs. Uh, easy, cool shades. Now a lot of overhead space, and we keep that as a lot of people try to get rid of it. And get really light colors, which hate is a hate love relationship for a lot, but we got different color packages as well. Now in the entertainment space here, you do have a nice storage space behind it. Um, keep the kids gaming system, knickknacks, stuff like that. You do have a lot of nice storage here for whatever you have. Indoor, outdoor uh, stereo system controls and also theater uh, surround sound that hooks up to the TV. Down below here is a spare 9000 BTU electric furnace. So if you don't want to run the LP furnace, there is an electric function as well. Now across the way from the entertainment center is the theater seating, electric recline, cup holders some center storage there, super comfortable. Um, not a sleeping option, but to the left of you will be the dinette. Now this is an order option. If you're more of a table and chairs, freestanding table and chairs style people, it's definitely orderable. But we go with the dinette style table here for the sleeping factor. Now I do want to point out the table is not a pole system for taller guys like me. No uneven bends or anything like that to get in. Also, you can take that outside and use it, put it in front of your theater seating wherever you would like to eat. Um, now, kind of to the kitchen portion of the unit, you have a nice amount of storage here. Uh, pantry space, there's a motion sensor light just for nice, never have to worry about that. Uh, your cooking area is gonna be a three burner cooktop with an oven. I'd like to point out that Flagstaff typically comes with a deeper oven than most. Not your residential style, but the deeper camper style oven which is more efficient. Three burners top, just your standard microwave. And then we did in this particular unit upgrade the refrigerator. This is electric only, has an onboard inverter to power it so you can still boom dock camp. Don't worry about any of that. But when we open that up, you'll see the amount of space that's benefits you. Just like at home, go weeks camping and not have to worry about where, where you're gonna stop and pick up some food. Now the freezer section, divided, just as big. Divided in the middle, but I would point out there is no wall. Then we look to the north side of the unit. More overhead storage. See nice new backsplashes, goes with the new 2021 colors. Throughout the unit, you do have USB ports so you can charge your phone with them and take up an outlet, you know, the kids' tablets and stuff like that. Residential style pull down faucet. This makes it feel a little bit more comforting. Stainless steel divided sink, which is nice as well. So you kind of have like a island there, and then you have your island in the middle where the slide out sandwich. On the side you're not looking at is drawers, cabinets, and stuff like that, so there's plenty of storage to gain in there. Thermostat, all electric, DSI, direct spark ignition, no, just no pilot lights to light. You'll see this air cell um, fan remote. That is for these max air fans that we install. You have one in the living room, one in the bathroom. Obviously, even at 6'3", I can't reach that, so we'll give you a remote so you can control it, rain sensored and all. I'm gonna head upstairs here. As you see here, as you go up the hallway, you will see um, your control panel, pretty standard you know your water heater functions slide outs awnings uh interior lights you don't have buttons on the lights everything's on a switch and of course more switches here ceiling fan switch uh your roof is prepped for roof mount solar panels if that's the style of camping you wish to go that is where that panel will mount we'll head up to the bedroom as i discussed outside this is a 50 amp unit which does give you the potential to have two air conditioners on board. This particular one has one, but as you walk into the bedroom, you'll see that's where that AC sensor is. Queen bed, accessible from both sides. Overhead storage, cabinet there, storage there. Just like every unit on the market, storage underneath the bed. Now I will point out, I have said 
Flags. Flagstaff is all aluminum cage construction. Where most people build their wood, wooden bed frames, this is truly all aluminum cage construction as this is even a uh, aluminum bed frame. See underneath the bed to give you the stools for the island down there. That's that fancy cooktop I was explaining. Now you'll also, this particular unit comes with the living room TV and the bedroom TV. And the bedroom TV is the one that uses the same bracket on the outside as the coach. TV can be used inside, outside. Now right behind me, you'll see this is where your third slide out comes from. And this is going to be your wardrobe slide with drawers. Pretty unique, gives you a nice amount of storage with yet still keeping this trailer a half ton towable trailer instead of going east west, keeping it north to south with a lighter duty slide out. Now, you can access the bathroom from the hallway or walk through the bathroom with this pocket door. And now, as we come into the bathroom past the slide out, the slide out does continue to the bathroom, so you do get some bathroom storage as well. As you come into the bathroom, you do have the glass shower door the skylight. Now you see the shower miser. Um, instead of wasting the cold water as you're waiting for hot water to show up, you can recirculate that water for boondock camping. Um, nice storage in there as well. Porcelain toilet comes standard residential style flush and your stainless steel sink in the bathroom. Vanity, max air vents as well. 